Well, Lynn Haven is lighting up the night with its fourth annual Tour de Lights bike ride. The first Tour de Lights took place, you may remember, after Hurricane Michael as a way to boost morale. News 13's Jake Holter is live from that event. And Jake, what's it like out there tonight? Amy, they, they were right behind me. They just took off to start their ride, and they're really excited to be out here tonight. Uh, some really went all out decorating their bikes and even dressing in costume. Participants start right here at Sharon Shuffle Park, travel north up to Leslie Porter Hark, back down along Anderson Bayou, and cross the finish line right back here at Sharon Shuffle Park for a total 2.2 mile ride. We want to get it to where it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I've been to some events where they have 3,000 riders, and so this year we're probably expecting 30 to 40, but we want it to be a, an event for Lynn Haven. It sets Lynn Haven apart uh, from some of the other smaller towns in Bay County. The best decorated bike and best costume will be awarded first and second place tonight for the top adults and children under 15. Free hot chocolate and honey stinger waffles were also available at this festive event. All right, Jake, thanks so much. Live in Lynn Haven tonight. We're back in a moment.